Hello and welcome to our presentation. Today we'll be discussing the dashboards and analytics with Communicate for Marketplaces. My name is Tom and I'll be your presenter for this video. Understanding your e-commerce data is crucial in making the best decisions for your business. The amount of information generated by your e-commerce activities can overwhelm even the most tech-savvy person. The most effective way to understand your e-commerce data are dashboards for data visualization all located in one place. A dashboard is a way of displaying various key performance indicators or other important metrics visually at a glance. Dashboards are intended to convey different but related information in easy to understand form. Dashboards can include data with varying date range to help you understand what happened, why it happened, what may happen, and what action you should take. Since dashboards use visualization like tables and graphs, executives and staff not close to the day-to-day -day operations can quickly and easily understand the story it tells or the insights it reveals. Dashboards and reports are commonly used to collect and analyze data. What makes them different? Reports usually have a narrow focus providing a deeper dive into data sets with corresponding or related details for further analysis. Dashboards tend to have a summarized or aggregated view of broad amounts of data designed to answer specific questions without the need to drill down to the details or the data. Let's get started with the dashboard analytics presentation for marketplace reporting. The dashboard is the first screen you will see after you launch Communicate for Marketplaces. Marketplace reporting features 14 distinct dashboards which provide a variety of key performance indicators for your e-commerce business. The results displayed on each active dashboard is in near real time. Each active dashboard updates itself automatically every five minutes unlike reports. Reports maintain state so the results for report does not change until you reapply search filters. This is not true for dashboards since they are automatically required and updated. Let's look at the dashboards and explain the purpose of each. We'll start at the upper left with the Sales at a Glance dashboard and work our way clockwise to the rest of the dashboards. The Sales at a Glance dashboard displays sales data for the period selected and filters applied. This dashboard supports year-over-year -year data visualization so you can view the current and previous periods side by side. Click the right mouse button anywhere within the Sales at a Glance dashboard and select the YOY or year-over-year -year command from the pop-up menu. The current and previous period sales are now visible side by side. See how easy that was? We'll discuss the how-tos with the Sales at a Glance dashboard later in the presentation. The next dashboard we'll review is Market Sales. The Market Sales dashboard displays the market or channel sales by the period selected. The next dashboard is the Shipping Summary. The Shipping Summary dashboard displays the number of packages, orders, and units processed and shipped during the period selected. The next dashboard we'll discuss is the Sales Analytics located lower left section of the dashboard. This dashboard displays both a Sales Summary and Sales Metrics. The Sales Summary dashboard displays the sales summary for the period selected. The Sales Metrics dashboard displays sales and unit summaries with current and previous periods for year-over-year -year comparison. The next dashboard discussed is the Customer Analytics. The Repeat versus New Customer dashboard measures sales from new versus repeat customers for period selected and filters applied. The Average Order Value dashboard measures average order value for new versus repeat customers for the period selected and filters applied. The next dashboard discussed is the Gross Margins. The Gross Margins dashboard illustrates gross margin and gross margin percent for the selected period. Additional series like ship costs, fees, cost of goods sold, and revenue are included for comparing the ebb and flow of revenue modifiers. The next dashboard to discuss are the pay methods. The payment methods dashboard display all payment methods and amounts collected for the period selected. The next dashboard to discuss is the product flow. The product flow contains two dashboards. The Units Ordered and Shipped dashboard displays the number of units sold and shipped for the period selected. The Product and Unit Sales dashboard displays the number of unique products and corresponding number of units shipped. The next dashboard discusses is the Returns. The Returns Summary dashboard displays the returns by period. The Series Value are amounts returned for the period selected. The next dashboard to discuss is the Ship Flow. The Ship Flow dashboard illustrates packages shipped by the method for the period selected. The next dashboard to discuss is the Top Customers. The Top Customers dashboard lists the top customers by revenue for the period selected and the filters applied. The next dashboard discusses is the Top Products. The Top Products dashboard lists the top products by sales for the period selected and filters applied. The next dashboard discusses is the Top Suppliers. The Top Suppliers dashboard lists the top suppliers by sales for the period selected and the filters applied. The next dashboard discusses is the Workflow. The Workflow dashboard illustrates the workflow of order, shipments, and returns in relation to each other. Before we go back and discuss the how-tos of using the Sales at a Glance dashboard, let's first discuss some configuration options you'll find useful. The dashboard area contains both horizontal and vertical splitter bars, which provides the ability to resize dashboards. 
Let's start with the horizontal splitter bar first. Hover your mouse over the splitter bar like so. The mouse cursor will change to a splitter with arrows pointing up and down. Click the left mouse button and drag it towards the bottom of your screen. See how much more workspace the Sales at a Glance dashboard has? The splitter bar works both ways so you can enlarge or reduce the workspace for all dashboard sections. Let me show you another feature of the splitter bars. Hover your mouse over the vertical splitter bar. Click your left mouse button. Without moving the splitter bar, let go of the button. The Sales at a Glance dashboard now occupies the full height of the screen and the dashboard below disappears. The same can be done for the vertical splitter bar. Let me show you how it's done. The Sales at a Glance dashboard now occupies the entire screen. You can easily undo this and restore the dashboard sections. Let me show you how. Hover your mouse over the vertical splitter bar on the right. Click the left mouse button and drag the section to point of screen and let go of the mouse button. See how easy that is? I will close the section now so we can use the full screen for the how-tos for the Sales at a Glance dashboard. The Sales at a Glance dashboard displays sales data for the period selected and filters applied. Across the bottom of the dashboard is a date range selector. Use the selector to choose a date range. Click the right mouse button anywhere within the dashboard to view various options. Select the Area command. The dashboard is transformed from a column to an area graph. Go back to the pop-up menu select the Pie command transforming the dashboard to a pie chart. Go back to the pop-up menu select the Line command transforming the dashboard to a line chart. I think you get the idea how this works. The other graph type dashboards have the same options. See how easy it is to glean valuable analytics, business intelligence, data visualizations from dashboards found within Communicate for Marketplaces. This concludes our presentation of the Dashboard and Analytics Overview with Communicate for Marketplaces. In summary, Communicate has powerful and intuitive dashboards that are easy to use. It's a convenient way to view key performance indicators and other important metrics at a glance. Dashboards use visualization techniques for executives and staff to easily understand the story it tells or the insights it reveals. It's the most effective way to understand your e-commerce data in one place. Reports are crucial for any business, especially yours. Marketplace Reporting provides you with better reports so you can have better results for your business. You can contact us at sales at marketplacereporting.com to learn more about Marketplace Reporting and how we can help. You can join the conversation at Marketplace Reporting forward slash blog. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and share with your colleagues. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.